The Kaiser Advantage, Short-Term versus Long-Term Healthcare Alam mo ba na Kaiser lang ang provider ng long-term healthcare sa Pilipinas? Ano nga ba ang advantage pag may Kaiser long-term healthcare plan ka? At ano ang difference nito sa short-term healthcare? First, sa short-term healthcare, renewal not guaranteed if with high claims. Sa Kaiser long-term, renewal is guaranteed. Halimbawa, may short-term healthcare ka. Year 1, high claims ka, meaning nagkasakit ka. Nagamit mo yung health benefits mo. Pwedeng on year 2, di na ma-approve ang health card mo kasi nakarecord sa kanila na nagkasakit ka noong year 1. Unlike sa Kaiser Long-Term Healthcare, renewal is guaranteed. Basta na-approve na policy mo noong year 1, sigurado ka na may health card ka pa din for the next 20 years or more. Of course, dapat good payor ka. Second, sa short-term healthcare, yearly increase of premium. Sa Kaiser Long Term, fixed premiums for 7 years. Pag may short term healthcare ka, pwedeng year 1 ang premium mo ay 30,000, year 2, 35,000, year 3, 40,000 na. Sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, ang kagandahan, fixed ang premium for 7 years. Kung year 1 ang annual premium mo ay 30,000, for the next 6 years, 30,000 pa din. Third, sa short term healthcare, Generally, no insurance coverage. Some provide insurance but very low coverage. Sa Kaiser Long Term, with 4-way insurance coverage. Ang sinasabing insurance dito ay yung life insurance. Sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, may health insurance ka na, may life insurance ka pa. Ano ba yung 4-way insurance coverage? First, term life insurance. For 20 years, insured ka. Something happens to you, kung mamatay ka, may makukuhang money ang family mo. Note that kung 51 to 60 years old ka na nag-start sa Kaiser, until 70 years old ka may life insurance coverage, not 20 years. Kasi habang tumatanda, mas mataas yung risk na may mangyari sa'yo. Second, accidental death and dismemberment. Kung namatay ka dahil sa aksidente, times 2 ang life insurance coverage mo. So, kung base sa plan na kinuha mo, 450,000 ang life insurance mo, kung namatay ka dahil sa aksidente, 900,000 makukuha ng pamilya mo. Ano naman yung dismemberment? Ito yung di ka namatay pero may part ng katawan mo na nawala. Ito yung makukuha ng family mo. For example, loss of both hands, 100% ng insurance coverage mo due to dismemberment ang makukuha mo. Third, waiver of installment due to death. The proceeds of the credit life insurance shall be applied to the balance of the contract price. The difference, if any, shall be paid to his designated beneficiaries. Kung di ka pa fully paid sa Kaiser long-term healthcare mo, which is 7 years, unfortunately, namatay ka during paying period, yung Kaiser mo pwedeng i-transfer sa primary beneficiary mo at babayaran na lang yung kulang kung meron pang unpaid. Pwede din wala nang bayaran dahil malaki ang insurance coverage mo. Like kung contract price is 411,750, unpaid is 2 years na lang or 117,642, so transfer sa primary beneficiary mo yung Kaiser plan, fully paid, may marireceive pa siyang amount from your term insurance na 294,108. And fourth, waiver of installment due to total and permanent disability. If the plan holder becomes totally disabled during the accumulation period and before his 60th birthday, thereby preventing him from engaging in any occupation for compensation or profit, is so disabled for life and such disability continues for at least 6 months, Kaiser shall waive the payment of each installment becoming due during the period of disability. Isa sa risk natin ay pwede tayong maaksidente at madisable. Kung may binabayaran kang Kaiser at maaksidente ka, ang worry naman din natin, paano ako makakabayad, disable na ako, wala nang tumatanggap sa akin sa work. Considered as fully paid ka na sa Kaiser kung total and permanent disability ang nangyari sa iyo. Isipin mo na lang, paano kung wala kang Kaiser plan? Kung madisable ka, sino kaya ang willing mag-alaga sa iyo at tutulong sa mga gastusin mo? Kaya importante na may insurance ka kahit single ka. Again, Kaiser has 4-way insurance coverage. 
term life insurance, accidental death and dismemberment, waiver of installment due to death, waiver of installment due to total and permanent disability. Fourth, sa short-term health care, no accumulation of unused health fund. Sa Kaiser Long Term, all unused health fund accumulates with interest. Sa short term, kapag di ka nagkakasakit kahit 15 years or 20 years ka pang nagbabayad ng healthcare mo, walang fund na nag accumulate Sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, ang kagandahan, 7 years ka lang magbabayad. And on the 8th year to 20th year, kahit di ka na nagbabayad, may yearly health benefits ka pa din. Ang benefit depende sa Kaiser plan na kinuha mo. At ang isa pang advantage kung di ka nagkakasakit, yung unused yearly health benefit mo during 8th year to 20th year nag accumulate at kumikita ng 10% interest per year based on unused health fund. Fifth, sa short-term health care, no return of premiums for non-utilization. Sa Kaiser Long Term, with return of premiums for non-utilization during the paying period. Sa short term, kapag di ka nagkasakit sa year 1, walang babalik sa'yo na premium. Ganon din sa year 2 and so on. Sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, ang kagandahan, kapag di mo nagamit ang healthcare benefits mo during paying period or during the first 7 years na nagbabayad ka, may return of premium. Which is 85% na binayad mo, ibabalik sa'yo as bonus, good as cash after 20 years. Sixth, Sa short-term healthcare, covers only up to age 60. Sa Kaiser long-term, covers beyond age 60 with long-term care yields. Di mo ba napapansin na opposite? Pag bata ka, covered ka ng short-term healthcare. Ito yung period na di ka sakitin kasi bata ka pa, malakas ka pa. Pero yung long-term healthcare, yun ang madalas din na paghahandaan. Ito yung period na di na tayo employed, matanda na tayo at sakitin. Ang maganda sa Kaiser, basta di mo pa i-withdraw lahat ng fund mo, covered ka even beyond 60 years old ka. Ang insurance kinukuha pag di mo pa kailangan. Meaning, habang malakas ka pa, wala ka pang record sa hospital, mag-apply ka na ng Kaiser Long-Term Healthcare. Kasi di ma-approve ang policy mo once na may sakit ka na. Meron kasi ako nakausap, gusto na agad kumuha ng Kaiser kahit di ko pa sa kanya na-explain ng benefits. Yung pala may sakit na siya na deny na ng insurance company. Seventh, sa short-term healthcare, pre-existing illness is not covered during the first year and lifetime or permanent exclusions may be issued on the second year onwards. Sa Kaiser long-term, pre-existing is not covered during the accumulation period, no exclusions after the seventh year. Ang maganda sa Kaiser long-term healthcare, after seven years or fully paid ka na, on the 8th year onwards, covered na pre-existing, consultation, even maternity benefits. So wala kang worry kasi alam mo na kung magkasakit ka, may health card ka na magagamit. Pag may health card ka, ang isa sa major advantage, malaki na di-discount mo sa bills. Kung di ka naman magkasakit, okay pa din kasi alam mo na nag accumulate lang fund mo with interest. 8. Sa short-term healthcare, inflexible, non-transferable design. Sa Kaiser Long Term, flexible, transferable, and may be related benefit design. Flexible, for example, nagkapera ka, gusto mo mag-upgrade ng mode of payment, pwede naman. For example, from monthly mode of payment, pwede mo mapaamin to annual mode of payment. Transferable, halimbawa, di mo matutuloy payment mo sa Kaiser, pwede mong kausapin kapatid mo or kaibigan, benta mo yung Kaiser mo sa kanya para siya na magtutuloy. Pwede naman matransfer sa kanya plan, basta di naman masyadong malaki difference sa age nyo. Ano naman yung redated? For example, di mo pa mabayaran Kaiser plan mo, pero ayaw mong ibenta. Gusto mo pa rin ituloy dahil nga maganda benefits. So pwede mo pa din ituloy plan mo within 2 years from the last unpaid due date. 9. Sa short-term healthcare, reinstatement is limited only within 30 days of lapsed policy. Sa Kaiser Long Term, reinstatement within 2 years of lapsed policy. Ito yung pag di ka makabayad dahil pwedeng nawalan ka ng trabaho. So ang maganda sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, may 2 years ka pa from last unpaid due date para magbayad at ma-activate uli ang plan mo. 10. Sa Short Term Healthcare, outpatient medicines and cosmetic treatments not covered. Sa Kaiser Long Term, 
Outpatient medicines and all illness, including cosmetic and maternity, are covered after the 7th year. Kaya magandang may Kaiser long-term healthcare ka. Example, ngayon kung wala kang health card, ang consultation is 600 agad. Pag may health card ka, nasa 300 lang charge sa'yo. Sa laboratory, makaka-discount ka din. For example, sa ultrasound, pag walang health card, 1,020. Pag may card, 872 lang. Kahit sa professional fee, room and board, makaka-discount ka din. Kasi iba ang rate sa may health card. Mas mura ng usually 20% to 30%. Eleven, sa short-term healthcare, continuous yearly payment terms up to age 60. Sa Kaiser Long Term, 7 years or spot cash payment options. Naalala ko yung sinabi ng dati kong boss, di na kasi siya pwede sa Kaiser nung time na nakausap ko siya. Sabi niya, Roan, sayang mga nahulog ko dati sa short-term healthcare. Di ako nagkakasakit dati. Ngayong senior citizen na ako, di na ako pwede sa health card. Eh ngayon ko pa naman siya kailangan kasi matanda na ako at madalas na ako nagpapacheck up. Kaya maganda ang Kaiser Long-Term Healthcare. Kasi 7 years ka lang magbabayad, covered ka na for 20 years, may life insurance at investment ka pa. At kung di mo pa withdrawin ang fund mo after 20 years, covered ka pa rin kahit beyond 60 years old ka na. And lastly, sa short-term healthcare, Anxious, worrisome, and insecure healthcare status after employment or during retirement years. Sa Kaiser Long Term, secured and worry-free healthcare fund after employment and during retirement years. To summarize what I have discussed, the Kaiser Advantage. Sa Kaiser Long Term Healthcare, renewal is guaranteed, fixed premiums for 7 years, with 4-way insurance coverage, All unused health fund accumulates with interest, with return of premiums for non-utilization during the paying period, covers beyond age 60 with long-term care yields. Pre-existing is not covered during the accumulation period, no exclusions after the 7th year. Flexible, transferable, and may be redated benefit design. Reinstatement within 2 years of lapsed policy. Outpatient medicines and all illness including cosmetic and maternity are covered after the 7th year. 7 years or spot cash payment options. Secured and worry-free health care fund after employment and during retirement years. Sabi nga, how comfortable is your health care situation after age 60 depends on your decision you make today.